Okay, here's an image I took during the winter. Um, and it's one of those images I just don't know what to do with. It's a, an Im a image I took while I was driving. I, I stopped off the side of the road. Um, it's just uh, uh, pictures of uh, some bushes uh, against the uh, uh, winter gray sky. But I like the color contrast. and uh, So anyway, it's it's... A, what do I do with it? Well, if I can create some mood, uh, maybe I can generate uh, an interesting uh, photograph. So, I'm going to show you one of my pocket techniques. And, and a pocket technique is something that, a technique that I do sometimes, I, I open up an image and I don't even know what I'm going to do with it when I open it up. So today I developed this uh, technique. and I So I'll show you pocket Technique number one. And it's the technique that you can pull it out of your pocket and put it back in your pocket when you're done and pull it out whenever you need it. Anyway, if you're a CS2 user or a CS3 uh, user, um, uh, you might be familiar with smart objects. And that's what we're going to use today. So I'm going to duplicate this uh, layer, Control J. And then I'm going to convert it to a smart object. And the way we do that is right click on that layer and choose convert to smart object. Okay, next thing we're going to do is go up to the filters. Uh, I'm going to use choose a blur and the surface blur in this case. And I really, really, really want to pound this uh, image with a uh, heavy duty surface blur. Let's see, let's see. Let me move this out of the way. Yeah. Okay, that's exactly what I want right there. Okay. And I'll click OK. Now the next thing I need to do, or I want to do, is I want to create some mood. Some, so I'm going to go into Render, Lighting Effects. And let's bring that dialog box in here. And I'm going to change this from Spotlight to Omni. And okay, I've got the mat all the way over to the left. Let me just adjust this here. That's a little bit too much. Just want to create some light lighting behind behind those branches. I just want to create some mood, some mood lighting. And that looks good there. It's a little bit too much. That looks good. And click OK. And now I've got some some light some behind those branches. And those branches are being silhouetted. But here's, here's the thing. I like the effect that it created behind the branches. But I don't like the effect down here in the foreground. So because Smart Objects gives us the ability to use a mask, which is right here, I can choose a brush with black as my foreground and making sure that the brush is very soft, which it is. I can reduce the opacity on of my brush, I'd say about 20% uh, here in this case. And now, let me move this out of the way. I can brush away the effects of those filters we used and just keep what I want and throw the rest away. And now I'm creating as I'm going. I, I really didn't plan this. And that is real quick, down, dirty, and simple. And that's what I call a pocket, pocket technique. So, where do we begin with? Let me move this out of the way. Let's do our before and after. Um, that was our before. And that's our after. Creates a little bit of a mood and um, enjoy it.